Hey guys, I uh, had a guy that has been asking me about this, uh, questions uh, constantly about this, and he doesn't really seem to understand it. I think there's a bit of confusion around, based around uh, blueprint interfaces and how they work. So I'm going to try to break this down for you as to how they work in ALS. So over here in your uh, base character class, uh, you have... You're, we're implementing a blueprint interface called ALS Character BPI. And if we press this right here, it'll open it for us. And this is actually stored under Interfaces, the Interfaces folder, right here, Character BPI. And for the get essential values, what they're doing is they're setting outputs. And these outputs are going to be grabbed by wherever they called, their, uh, wherever this function is called. So you can see he set the uh, the verbal types and their names that's the only thing that matters here you you're not doing any logic inside of here you can't do logic inside of here this is read only so when he when you implement a interface event you'll see under interfaces over here on the left under my blueprint you'll see that the BPI get essential values interface function is right here. So if you double click it, it'll bring you here. And normally you wouldn't have any of this. It would just be a return node with these inputs. So you plug that up into a, a return node and it's just like creating a function. So if you create some function and you and you type in a add return node and let's just say we we give it a, a return value now if we come over here and we call said new function you'll see that this one has an input and an output but that's cuz it needs a target and it, and you can get these outputs right here. Now this is basically this is basically the same thing, except you're setting your outputs right here rather than inside of a function. And then wherever you call it from, you can get that output. You can get those return values as outputs. So this is where we're setting it up at over here. Inside of the animation blueprint, if you go under update values, update character info, you'll see this. This is where it's being called from. Now this character isn't even a direct reference to this ALS base character uh, blueprint class, which is what makes these so powerful, these interfaces. So we can just pull off of here and type in uh, esen esen essential values, and we can pull it right here. It'll say BPI get essential values message. And we can save these values. And every time this function is called, it's going to grab those values from that function. And that function is going to return these values. That's how that works. So I put together another uh, example as well. So if we come over here to the event graph, I'll just remove this. We'll come over here. We'll pretend that I created a new function and I added one input called test boolean. Okay, so if I come over here and I duplicate character and I pull off of here and I type in test and you see the test with the message next to it, that's my blueprint interface uh, function. I'll uh, set that to uh, uh, test. You could probably also do a a flip-flop here uh, where it sets a value uh, one time and then sets it again another time anyway I'm not gonna do that but this will give you the ideal so we're calling that blueprint interface function here we need to set it up over here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on this test function here and I'm gonna implement the event and off of here I'm going to print it And now you'll see 
that the animation blueprint is calling the function and it's printing the value that it was sent, which is true. If I come back over here, if I turn this to false, it'll now print false. So every time the animation uh, update function uh, is called in the animation blueprint, it will execute this and then it'll uh, call that function inside of the character class and it will print that value that it was sent. So it's a two-way street. You can get messages back and forth. And that's how it works. I hope this cleared things up for you guys. And uh, if you found this helpful in any way, please don't forget to like and uh, consider subscribing. Thanks.